round by round. Fury had a chance, maybe to sting. And these guys are not like the big fella, the Gypsy King. Referee oh. must stop it. No! Usyk defeats Tyson Fury to become the undisputed champion. We can say the heavyweight division, which has been captured by Tyson Fury for a long time, has finally been handed over to its real and deserving heir. In a fight that turned in the ninth round when Usyk nearly ended the bout and scored a knockdown, two judges scored the bout 115-112 and 114-113 for Usyk, while the third had it 114-113 for Tyson Fury. The undefeated Usyk defeated Tyson Fury, giving him his only loss of his entire career in a very, very good fight. Tyson Fury was like a weight bully, considering his size and reach advantage over most opponents, and against Usyk it was no different. Tyson Fury weight, reach and height, and even his power was a significant factor for the heavyweights. Usyk on the other hand, had to overcome his relatively shorter stature and reach compared to Tyson Fury. They both traded punches, but Fury's power and size gave him an initial advantage. This fight marked the first time since the rematch between Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis in 1999 that an undisputed heavyweight champion has been crowned, making it a historical moment, and Usyk proved he is now the baddest man on the planet. Tyson Fury claimed it was a robbery. He thought he won the fight and attributed the decision to the situation in Ukraine. That's delusional. Usyk clearly dominated most rounds. Fury was probably too wobbled to understand. Tyson Fury instantly asked for a rematch. The rematch clause is part of their contract, so it's happening. If Tyson Fury moves on with the same mindset and delusions, he probably won't learn from his mistakes. He was totally exhausted and drained in the ninth round. Usyk almost knocked out Tyson Fury, but the referee saved Tyson Fury, which is crazy. With this bout, I don't understand how this keeps happening. This isn't unusual in boxing. Like when someone is about to knock out another fighter, the referee intervenes and starts pulling the person who's getting beaten back, like in the recent example of Ryan Garcia versus David Haney fight. If the referee didn't intervene, the knockdown was certain. Usyk's left hand on Fury would have probably gone out and knocked him down, because Fury didn't see the punch. The punch was full power going downward, which is stronger than throwing a punch upward. This would have been a devastating knockout. Usyk is an absolute legend for defeating Tyson Fury the way he did and all the other accomplishments he's had throughout his entire career. Tyson Fury's reach was not easy to overcome for Usyk. Usyk seemed reinvigorated to open round 9, which was a pivotal one for the Usyk. He returned to pressuring Fury and connected flush with a big left hand with Fury against the ropes. A huge left hand had Fury in trouble, and Usyk sensed that Fury was hurt and went for the finish, connecting with several hard punches and combinations. Fury was visibly hurt. Although Usyk didn't finish Fury, he shifted momentum in the fight for good. He swept round 8-10 on all three scorecards to pull away down the stretch. Fury won the final round unanimously, but then it was too late. Usyk took the opening round with his body shots and overhand left, ending the round with a big shot to Fury's chin. The crowd was electric, with Usyk chants filling the air. In round two, Fury landed a big right uppercut to end the round and smirked at Usyk, who started the round with a nice combination. A close one, but Fury edges it 10-9, leveling the score at 19-19. In round three, Fury found a rhythm with his jab and feints, boxing from the outside and using his height and reach advantage. Usyk pressed forward with body shots, making for a great fight through three rounds. Fury takes the round 10-9, leading 29-28. In round four, Fury pumped his jab with great success, and his money punch, the right uppercut, found its mark. Usyk struggled to get past the jab consistently, but found success with his overhand left. A close round, but Fury takes it 10 to 9, leading 39 to 37. In round five, Fury continued working Usyk's body, and Usyk's now cut over the right eye. Fury's looking to take control in this competitive fight, taking the round 10-9 and leading 49-46. In round 6, Fury took control, throwing in combination and stunning Usyk at one point. Usyk's getting busted up, and Fury ends the round taunting him with his hands behind his back. A clear 10-9 round for Fury, who leads 59-55. In round 7, Usyk finally found his spark, landing an overhand left and a few more shots with Fury pinned in the corner. A close round, but Usyk takes it 10-9, trailing 68-65 on the scorecard. 
In round eight, Usyk picked up another round, this time more dominantly, connecting with his overhand left and pushing Fury back. Fury's nicked over the left eye and Usyk's momentum is growing. 77-75 for Fury. In round nine, Usyk landed 14 flush shots and wobbled Fury around the ring, finally sending him crashing against the ropes. Fury beat the count, but the round ended before Usyk could follow up. A dominant 10-8 round for Usyk, leveling the score at 85-85. In round 10, Usyk didn't hurt Fury again, but he banked another round with his consistent pressure and overhand lefts. Fury needed to push Usyk back and use his size to his advantage, but Usyk's momentum was building. The scorecard read 95-94 Usyk. In round 11, Usyk continued to press and push Fury back despite being the smaller man. Fury's height and reach advantage were neutralized by Usyk's relentless pressure and precise punching. In round 12, the final round was a close affair, with Usyk landing more lefts and Fury connecting with a few good rights. Usyk takes the round 10-9, winning the fight 115-112 on the scorecard. This fight showed the place of Usyk where he stands, too powerful, even with the smaller reach compared to Tyson. We will see what happens in the rematch, but if Usyk beats Fury again and fast, it will be a big embarrassment for him. We can then say that he was exposed by someone a lot lesser in size, height and reach, which he was avoiding for a long time.